I finished the black pants. I put the panels in. These are uh, Levi's wedgies. They're a size 25, I think, which I have never been a size 25 in my life. And so I split them down the side and added other denim. It made them really baggy, yes, but I can do, remember the button trick I showed you? So you take the loop on the same side as the button, put it in there, poke the button out, and then do the pants back up, which makes it almost like you're wearing a belt. So you just do a little tuck by the zipper. You're good to go. Super comfy. You know that feeling when you, like it drops the crotch too, so it almost makes them like a pair of sweatpants. But you know that feeling when you're wearing pajamas in public? I also have something else to show you. I picked up this uh, leather jacket. It's Mossimo. There was a pile, a bag of fabric. It was summertime and it was a bunch of remnants, a bunch of scraps, and in there was this jacket. So there's, yeah, there's the tag Mossimo. I think it's a size small. The jacket was missing an arm and there was also a big chunk cut out of here and then the lining was all fucked up and, or uh, pardon me, screwed up. It was all out and sort of ripped and unattached. So I reattached the lining I sewed on that patch, which is a functional pocket. And I added an arm and there's lining in here too. And to secure the lining, I just stitched it to the arm. It made a bit of a pucker, but it sort of all just goes. So here, this is what this looks like. I love this jacket. It's like perfectly worn. It feels like, oh, I don't know to kind of like to like button it because it's a very thin fit <sighs> button this one too so it's not so bulgy so yeah uh, I don't have my glasses on right now I'm just getting ready to go out I have a gig tonight but I just thought I would show you guys this outfit that I created this is I think better just open Loose. I love this outfit. Denim and old leather. Loose, loose fitting, relaxed, ripping the knee, panels. You want to do it too? Just slice your jeans right open. If you pull the side seam apart, you will see the stitches. Get a seam ripper or a little pair of scissors that have a very pointy end and clip all those stitches and leave. There's, there's going to be um, a stitch down the seam that will prevent it from fraying. I left this one on. These ones, so basically there's just a seam in the middle that originally attached these two sides together. Rip that seam out and then cut the top band and then just sew in and then either put on a belt or loop. That's it. I hope you're having a good day. Oh, and this is the best thing about this jacket. Pop the collar. And yeah, so you don't see the pucker that I created by attaching the lining because I just made a cuff and it doesn't show. little pucker there, but it looks like it's intentional from sewing the arm. There's always flaws. That's what I love about this stuff. Have a great day.